equations with the same variable on both sides. Previously, you solved equations with variables on one side, similar to the following. 2x plus 7 equals 13. x was only on one side. Now, we will be given an equation with the same variable on both sides. These equations will look similar to the following. 3x minus 4 equals 6x plus 8 minus x. These require one additional step to get all the terms with that variable to one side or the other. It doesn't matter which side you choose to move the variables to, but it's usually best to choose the side in which the coefficient of the variable will be positive. Solve these for the variable. Decide to which side you'll move the variable. All right, we have 4x on this side, 2x on this side. I'll move 2x to the other side because then our answer will be positive, right? So let's subtract 2x from both sides. It will go away over there. 4x minus 2x is 2x, and we still have plus 8 equals, and then we only have the 26 left. So see how 2x is positive? That's useful, right? That's, that's going to be better than moving the 4x to the other side and having negative 2x on the right side. Now we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. So that gives us 2x equals 26 minus 8 is going to be, uh, so instead of 16, it will be 18. All right, and then divide both sides by 2 and we get x equals 9. Okay, here we actually have two like terms, so let's first combine them. So we have 6r minus 5, 7r minus 2r is 5r plus 7. All right, so we have 6r here, 5r here. Let's subtract 5r from both sides, and that's going to give us 1r, or just r, on the left side equals 7. All right, last step, we're going to add 5 to both sides, and that's going to give us r equals 12. And here are the solutions. When the variables on both sides of the equation, there are two types of results that do not yield a value for the variable. Those are illustrated by these two cases. Solve each for the variable. So here, when we combine like terms, we see that there's a 3x on both sides. Well, if you subtract 3x from both sides, it goes away entirely. And it says negative 1 equals positive 1. And this is never true. So for this equation, there is no solution for the value of x. The answer is no solution. Over here, we have 3x on both sides. So it cancels out, right? Subtract 3x from both sides, it goes away. And we have negative 3 equals negative 3, which is true for any value of x. So there's infinitely many solutions. This was an identity, not an equation. In this case, it just shows the distributive property. All right, so to recap, when solving an equation with variables on both sides, choose a side to move all of them to, then continue working to isolate the variable. When solving an equation where all variables are eliminated and the remaining equation is false, that means there's no solution. When solving an equation where all the variables are eliminated and the remaining equation is true, there are infinitely many solutions.